Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Friends, welcome to the free fidget project in Tinkercad Sim Lab. I've already built this, but I'm going to show you how to build your own in a minute. First, though, let me show you how this works. We're going to grab the fidget. You'll have to do this on your own. Lift it up, and then we're going to move to Sim Lab. You'll also have to change this setting. This part right here needs to be static. Make sure you set it to static. We don't want it to move. And then this axle is going to be connected to these stars. And then the little orange one is connected to our centerpiece of our silly fidget. Friends, now when you hit play, if you've got it set up, that'll stay. And if you hit these, which may take you a couple shots, bingo, instant, awesome fidget spinner. <laughs> How cool is that? Now, of course, we can pause, back it up. We can make little videos. Don't forget you can share to send me what you build. Right now, though, I want to go back and I'm going to show you how we built this. The first thing I'm going to do is take these pieces and I'm going to just move them off to the side so I can use it later. I'm going to pick something fun for the center of my fidget. I'm going to go with this right here. And then you can pick anything you want for the outside of your fidget. You can make them traditional or you can just make them awesome. So today, it's getting close to Valentine's Day. Let's make one with hearts. I'm going to make it thinner. Of course, if you wanted to make this for somebody, you could easily cruise some text out here and customize the size and color to make it look just like you want it. I am going to just delete the text, though, to keep this fun and fast. I'm going to shift squeeze to get it close to the same size. So now they are both almost 20 by 20. I'm going to do Control D, move the other one across. I'm going to... Take those two and shift select them, and I want them lined up this way. So now they're even. Now I can group those. Once again, grab them all. Choose L for a line, make it centered, and of course, make it centered so it's all lined up. Now we need to make the three arms. This is so cool. There's a little math in here. If we do Control D and we rotate 60 degrees, Notice I let go and I type 60 in the box and then do control D one more time. That gives us 60 times six, which is 360 degrees. If we now ungroup all these, we can delete every other one. So if we do delete, 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 you have just made a cool little fidget spinner. Let me show you the final steps. We're gonna shift select these three and group them. And then we do need to put the axle on this one. So we're just going to do Control D. I don't want to cruise this one. I want it to be down underneath it. It just looks better that way. I'm going to select those two, do L for a line, choose center and center. Here we go, friends. Fidget spinner time. Lifting it up just a little bit. I'll do Shift Nudge to move it over. And let's head to the Sim Lab. Takes a moment for the geometry to snap into place. We do need to click on the pink one and make it static. And then we need to click on our connector, connect the blue out to the hearts, connect the orange one to the center. And are you ready for this? Let's test our fidget spinners. Both floating. There goes that one. And there goes that one. Super cool, fun fidget spinners in minutes. Once again, friends, you can pause, you can replay, you can make as many of these as you want. It is fun and fast and free. Let's quickly bounce back to the editor. Just a quick note, these are not 3D printable, but I do have printable tutorials. I'll put them up here and in the properties so you can find them if you want them. Friends, remember when you're done with a project like this, if you want me to see what you made or if you just want to show the world, it is so simple. Just click on the settings. Because it's almost Valentine's Day, I'm going to go with the pink. I'm going to shut off the grid and I'm going to close those settings. So now I've got a much prettier background. At that point, we simply return to the Tinkercad workspace. Just click up here and change the properties. As you see, mine says it is a free fidget sim lab. Of course, in the description, I mentioned there's a tutorial available and you can find all sorts of links in my profile. Finally, add some tags. And don't forget, if you ever tag anything you create, with HLMT23, I check that tag almost every day. And of course, I will give you a reaction. 
Lastly, set your design to public, and then I almost always choose attribution, no derivatives, because instead of copying my work, that way you can go up and follow the awesome tutorial. Today I am choosing attribution, share alike, because hopefully you can tear this apart, have some fun, and make some epic fidget spinners. Lastly, hit save changes, and potentially prove you're not a robot. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to mention my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you look down in the corner, friends, of course, you will find the built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. At the top of the page, you can find a link to the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see, we We've got a boatload of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.